नमस्कार आई एम अखिल श्रीवास्तव एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन द वीकली वेदर ब्रीफिंग ऑफ इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट इन दिस वेदर ब्रीफिंग वी विल सी हाउ वाज द वेदर ड्यूरिंग पास्ट वन वीक एंड व्हाट वी एक्सपेक्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ वेदर इन द कमिंग नेक्स्ट टू वीक्स इफ वी सी द मेन वेदर फीचर्स व्हिच इंपैक्टेड इंडिया देन यू कैन सी इन दिस सैटेलाइट इमेजरी देयर लॉट ऑफ फीचर्स व्हिच हैव बीन इंडिकेटेड ओवर हियर मेनली देयर वाज अ वेस्टर्न डिस्टरबेंस व्हिच इंपैक्टेड इंडिया फ्रॉम 6 ऑनवर्ड्स एंड व्हिच गेव अ वेरी मच नीडेड रिलीफ फॉर फ्रॉम द हीट वेव एंड also there was a lot of uh, circulation which you can see uh, shown on the map there was a circulation on 6th over western rajasthan then there was a circulation over uh, bihar around on 7th 8th 9th and 11th of june there was also a shear line which was uh, fluctuating between 16 degree north and 18 degree north throughout the week if we see the main uh, uh, weather which is realized because of this synoptic features then you can see on my right hand side it's showing the rainfall activity which has occurred over different uh, days of the week and on my left hand side you can see it's the hail storm activity that is wherever the hail uh, has been observed during past week if we see the rainfall activity then you can see most of the rainfall that has occurred it has been concentrated over the southern peninsula part of the india and somewhat in the northeastern parts of the country apart from that not much uh, rainfall activity has been seen over central and in the northwest parts of the country if you talk about the hail storm activity then we can see there was a good hail storm activity in the western himalayan region and also in the adjoining plains of northwest india there was also hail storm activity during different days of the week in the central parts of the country that is over madhya pradesh chatisgarh and in the east uttar pradesh as well if you see the uh, the heat waves which have been continuing from a uh, 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 for many days during the previous weeks however on 6th onwards we got uh, uh, much needed relief from the heat wave over northwest india uh, but a uh, new fresh spell started again from 7th 8th onwards and we we saw that the heat wave was largely concentrated along the plains of northwest india in the indo indo gangetic region uh, you can see over in the map with the red color so five uh, number of heat wave days were observed over eastern parts of the uttar pradesh then three to four days were observed in the northwest parts of the country and adjoining eastern parts of the country if we talk about the rainfall how is the rainfall in during different uh, time period of the uh, 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 for different time period then the right hand side you can see it's showing the weekly rainfall map that is from 6th of june to 12th of june how was the rainfall uh, as compared to the normally expected rainfall during this same period and on my left hand side you can see it's the seasonal rainfall that is rainfall which has occurred from 1st of june to 12th of june so if we see this particular map that is the weekly rainfall then we can majorly see this blue color which we are seeing on the southern parts of the country it is showing the rainfall where the rainfall has been above normal or excess rainfall has been reported apart from that the red and yellow color they are showing the rainfall activity which has been deficient so the all the large deficient category the deficient category is from minus 59% to minus 20% and large deficient is from is more than minus 60% so in the if you talk about the monthly uh, for seasonal part that is from 1st of june to 12th of june then uh, again you can see it's very similar to what we have seen in the weekly part that most of the southern part of the country the south Met southern meteorological subdivisions they uh, have received above normal rainfall activity or large excess to excess rainfall activity apart from that if you talk about the northeastern parts of the country then assam meghalaya this region has received about normal rainfall activity and other than that if you see the northwestern parts of the country it is largely deficient to large deficient in eastern parts of the country that is odisha chatisgarh this region they have uh, received the uh, around normal rainfall uh, activity during the uh, entire season that is from 1st june to 12th of june okay if we talk about the rainfall summary in terms of the absolute number of the rainfall then you can see there are different kind of categories which are listed over here there were six number of sub divisions which received large excess rainfall in the past week that is from 6th june to 12th of june and there were 13 sub division uh, meteorological sub division which received Uh, large deficient rainfall that is uh, there were departure or deficiency was more than minus 60% and if we talk about the for the entire season then we can see there were seven sub divisions which received large excess and there were six sub divisions which is which received uh, normal rainfall during the past uh, the current season that is from 1st of june to 12th of june if we talk about actual numbers then we can see that uh, the in over uh, india as a whole we are the rainfall during the last week is expected to be around 30.1 mm and against which the observed rainfall or recorded rainfall is 27.1 mm which was approximately 10% deficient so overall in uh, as a india for the past week the rainfall was 
minus 10 percent and if we see for the different regions then you can see central india and south india they were in the positive category majorly southern parts of the country it received plus 61 percent rainfall whereas in east northeast india and northwest india they received minus 57 percent and minus 45 percent uh, respectively that is below normal rainfall activity if you talk about talk about for the season that is from 1st june to 12th of june then we can see that normally expected is 45 millimeter rainfall against which in uh, india the whole received 43.1 millimeter rainfall which is around minus 4 percent that is 4 percent less than the normal rainfall activity in this also if we see the southern peninsula it has received plus 60 percent that means 60 percent more rainfall than normal whereas the other parts of the country if you talk about uh, the uh, east and northeast india and the northwest india this is received minus 33 percent and minus 53 percent rainfall less than the normal whereas central india received uh, uh, just uh, what is normally expected it is close to the normal rainfall activity if you see this uh, cumulative rainfall during past seven days then again you can see the west coast of the country and in the adjoining south southern peninsula part of the country number of uh, days or number of events have been reported where very heavy uh, to extremely heavy rainfall has been reported apart from that in the northeastern parts of the country also the similar kind of activity is seen where very heavy to extremely heavy rainfall has been reported whereas in the northwest part of the country this indo ganetic plain and all not much rainfall has been reported apart from some isolated activities if you talk about the monsoon that is the southwest monsoon then on my uh, left hand side you can see this map it is showing with the red colors the normal date of progress of the monsoon and the blue color is showing the current situation so if you see the monsoon has progressed from 6th june to 10th uh, june and it has covered some part of maharashtra also it has covered uh, telangana so it has uh, entered into chhattisgarh and it has also covered maximum most part of the coastal andhra pradesh so this has uh, been progress from 10th till 10th of june and after 10th of june there hasn't been much progress till today that is still 13th of june if we talk about the monsoon advance uh, forecast or the uh, outlook then the uh, as per the today's situation the northern limit of monsoon it is passing through navsari jalgaon amravati chandrapur bijapur sukma malkangiri uh, vijayanagaram and uh, islampur what we are expecting in terms of monsoon is that the conditions are favorable for further advance of southwest monsoon in some more parts of uh, Maharashtra, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, coastal Andhra Pradesh and north of Bay of Bengal during next 3 to 4 days and subsequently we are also expecting that after that the condition will again be further favorable that so that the southwest monsoon can uh, progress further into parts of Gujarat, Maharashtra, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, remaining parts of Bay of Bengal, South Malaya West Bengal, Sikkim, some parts of Gangetic West Bengal and and Bihar towards the end of week 1 and during the week 2. Also, south of monsoon is likely to advance over uh, some more parts of central and east India and some parts of northwest India during the week 2. If we talk about the rainfall activity, then these maps are taken from the ERF, that is Extended Rain Forecast System of IMD. On the uh, top side, you can see week 1, week 2 rainfall, which has been estimated based on this particular model. And in the below panel, you can see the rainfall, which is showing the anomaly plots for the rainfall. That is how much more or less the rainfall is as, as compared to the normally expected rainfall activity. So if we see this particular rainfall activity, then we can see in the week 1, a lot of rainfall is been uh, depicted over northeastern parts of the country and also in the southern parts of the country and in the week 2 also you can see the rainfall is uh, increasing in the eastern parts of the country and the adjoining region if we talk in terms of anomaly also you can see a lot of positive anomaly that means more than normal rainfall is expected in the southern parts and in the northeast parts of the country during the week 1 and in week 2 you can see there are positive anomaly seen over eastern and adjoining northwest parts of the country as well so what is expected is that during week 1 heavy to very heavy rainfall with actually extremely heavy rainfall is very likely over uh, to continue over some and West Bengal and Sikkim and northeastern states for uh, during next four to five days and in week two what we are expecting that there will be an increase in rainfall activity uh, with scattered to fairly widespread rainfall likely over central and east India and there is also likelihood of increase of rainfall activity over the west coast and where we are expecting that widespread rainfall is likely to occur over western west coast of the country if you talk about the temperature scenario for the next two weeks then you can see these are the map again from the extended rain forecast system of IMD where you can see the above panel is showing the maximum temperature and the below panel is showing the anomaly from what is ex uh, normally expected maximum temperatures so we can see that uh, the uh, indo gangetic plain and also parts of the country in the week one are showing uh, very uh, are showing the higher temperatures and in the week two you can see there is a slight reduction over this region and most of the higher temperatures are indicated towards the northern parts of the Rajasthan and neighborhood similarly if we see the uh, anomaly part 
then the positive anomaly is seen over eastern parts of the country over the northwestern plains of the country during week 1 and in week 2 we are uh, the model is indicating the above normal temperatures over the eastern parts of the country if we talk about the minimum temperature then you can see the below panel which is showing the anomaly of the minimum temperature that is uh, the temperature difference from what is normally expected and the forecast temperature we can see that the no, uh, the uh, minimum temperatures are likely to be above normal over plains of northwest india and in the uh, in the adjoining parts of the central and east india and in the week 2 uh, the the uh, anomaly has it's a positive anomaly but it has come into the range of 1 to 2 degrees centigrade only in the northwest part in the isolated places over different uh, parts of the northwest india if we talk about the heat wave outlook for next two weeks on the right hand side it is showing the heat wave outlook for the week one that is during 14th of june to 20th of june so we are expecting that heat waves are likely to continue along the northwest parts of the country and there are chances of uh, severe activity over the southern parts of uh, uttar pradesh and neighborhood uh, which you can see over uh, the red color also over here which is also showing the probability of the rainfall activity over this particular region if you talk about week 2, as we, are in, uh, we have indicated in the rainfall also, there is likelihood of uh, you know, increase of the rainfall activity in the northwest parts of the country, eastern parts of the country and accordingly we are expecting the heat wave to gradually uh, you know, reduce and uh, it is only likely over the northern parts of, in some parts of northwest India during the week 2. With respect to tropical cyclone, as you can see, there is no likelihood uh, as of today for the formation of any tro tropical cyclone, uh, any cyclogenesis over northern Indian Ocean, that is over Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea. If we talk about uh, the weather warnings for next five days, then in this map you can see this all red clouds are showing around the indo gagetic plain. They are showing the heat wave warning, which is likely to continue uh, for 13th, and you can see on the 14th also. And from uh, 15th, uh, you can see the intensity is slightly gradually reducing from the eastern parts of the country. And so uh, on by 17th, the heat wave is largely to be concentrated over the plains of northwest India. Apart from that, if we talk about the uh, uh, the rainfall activity, the uh, heavy rainfall activity, then you can see along the west coast we are expecting some very heavy rainfall activity and in the northeastern states we are expecting extremely very heavy to extremely heavy rainfall activity. So this is uh, for the, this are the weather forecast for this week. Again, next week we will meet with the similar kind of information. Till then for any updated information, you can visit www.mawesome.imd.gov.in or you can access the different social media handles of IMD, Twitter, Facebook, etc. Thank you very much. Namaskar. Jai Hind.